around these two, I always wear a cup. If I had a nickel, if I had a nickel for every time you've said that, I'd have a full cup. <laughs> but and it'd be a Dixie but, cup. It's my dick, see? Oh. Good night, everybody. Oh, all right. No, good night. Hey, first can we say that on You can say that on booze feed. My first impression of them was they, they were also very funny and kind. Well, Dave does the impressions. I right. do the impressions. I am gonna, I swear, I'm gonna poke you right in the eyeball. I was nine years old, so I knew who John Stamos was because my sisters were in love with him. Just about everything I wore, I wanted to wear at the time, although now I can look back and think that was not a good choice. Luckily, I was little enough that I have like plausible deniability that I was not in charge of making those choices. <laughs> Amy Gibbler had the most um, atrocious wardrobe ever. I have to say those high-waisted jeans. I, I don't know, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I thought they looked good. I mean, we wore dresses one time and we but liked that's before that we, we liked. started the show. Yeah, that was just We weren't on the show at that no, time. No, we were at my home. Yeah, that's true. My hair is not naturally curly, so I spent a lot of nights sleeping in those terrible sponge rollers. Looking back, maybe we should have given her a, a simpler hairdo. Everybody wondered how did these three guys that knew nothing about raising girls or doing hair manage to get her hair looking like that every day? Danny always stayed in his own bedroom on the second floor. Then eventually we turned the basement into Joey's room. The attic became a recording studio for Jesse. DJ got her own room, which was I think Michelle's room, which is weird because we had an extra room with Jesse. There's an extra room there. Why didn't Stephanie, DJ, and Michelle all get their own room after Jesse moved into the attic? Huh. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, I have cousins yeah. that are twins, so I could tell them apart. How, how Which makes total apart. sense. You know, the Saggots and the Olsons. Very similar. I think Ashley has a mole that Mary-Kate doesn't. I would know them almost by the back of their head. I could tell who was who, like, just by mannerisms and stuff like that. I just wish they would wear name tags all the time. I could never tell them apart, ever. I still can't tell them apart. when they announced that they were bringing back Fuller House and the fan reaction to that. It was the first time where I was like, oh, wow. Like, this show means a lot to a lot of people. We're going home, I go, let's celebrate. Let's go to a strip club, you know? Yeah. And it was like, and, and we're like, we can't go to a strip club. No so alcohol, like, though. There was no alcohol. Well, we gotta wear hats, we're gonna be like, and okay, we, we, they were very specific. But you teed us up. Right. You teed us up with, you knew somebody. It was there. very quiet. I said, I know the guys, they'll let us in, it'll be very quiet. No one will know we're there. We walk in, we sneak in, we sit down, and hey, hey, tonight the guys from Full House are here. <laughs> How about that, girls? John Stamos, Bob Saget, Dick yeah. Couillet. Yeah. Let's yeah. bring so, out Tiffany. Yeah. Sweeten and I went into the bathroom to take a break, and while we were in the stalls, some fans followed us in there and were passing pads of paper and pens underneath the stall to ask for our autograph. So I thought, wow, we're really famous now. The only review I read was this show, the old one, they said this show won't last through Thanksgiving. And that we were a three men and a baby rip off. They loved gum and I, they were too little to chew gum. So if you were chewing gum, they always would stop and try to pry your mouth open. And they say, what having, what having? And then, or they, when they were, they were you got gum, got gum, what having? So funny. There was a time when like Mary Kate didn't want to do a scene and she, or like her hands, I think had peanut butter all over them. And she was just like, I don't, I want to wash my hands. I want to wash my hands. I'm going to sing. I'm going to sing if I don't wash my hands. <laughs> and like, didn't want to do the scene. And it was the cutest thing ever. When they wanted to stop working, they were just like, I'm done, I'm done, I'm gonna sing. If you make me stay here, I'm done. And we're like, okay, I guess that's a wrap. <laughs> if I did have a crush on anyone, it was probably Scott Weinger. Although we were closer friends than boyfriend, girlfriend. Mickey, uh, Mickey Rooney, you like Mickey Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> he showed us his boobs. People always ask if like, oh, did you think John was so cute? I'm like, no, oh, he's like my family. He married one. The, the girl who played Big Michelle. Oh yeah, Michelle. You just remembered. I just remembered. I'm gonna say I had a crush.
crush or was in love with anyone, it's going to be Comet. I never wanted to say, oh my, G-O-D, uh, on the show. So I used to just say in my personal life, oh my, Lanta. So I think a babysitter of mine would say that all the time, and I just loved it. So uh, I just asked the writers if I could say that instead, and it became a thing. The cast rated the set so thoroughly that by the time I thought, oh, I should take something, there was nothing left. So thanks, guys. I took Mr. Woodchuck puppet. Yeah, my favorite. I still have him. My dog ate his face. I took my pillow person, which is no longer around. It was very sad. My dog chewed it up one day. <laughs> no, I didn't take one souvenir because John Stamos took them all. He took like the ceramic duck that was in the kitchen. Pink bunnies, I have a couch. I have, a, I have the sign from Wake Up San Francisco. There was a pig, like a plush pig that I think he took as well. We went on a date. We went to Disneyland. Now she says, it wasn't a date or something. And I say, when you make out on, on, on the Matterhorn, it's a date, right? Were you making out with her or somebody else? <clears throat> I said, why do you tell people we made out on the Matterhorn? He goes, because it sounds funny. <laughs> and I think the real truth is, is we're too old to remember. Never thought it in my life and so happy I get to. You know, over time, I and mean, we've realized how incredibly successful the show is, but I don't think we ever thought, you know, 10 years ago that we would be coming back and doing this. And now look at the bringing back all these old shows from the Gilmore Girls to Will and Grace. It's, it's, we've certainly started a trend. We are a fun group. Even coming back and doing this incarnation of the show, there's still, I mean, look at them. You know, we just, it, if you turn to look at someone after 30 years and it's, they're there and they're Joey. I absolutely knew, knew that Full House would turn into Fuller House, just like I know that Fuller House will become Fullest House in 20 years from now. Are we up to 30 seconds of usable material yet?